Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Mad Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news. And if you're new to the channel, go hit that subscribe button. Tell your friend to come chat Falcons football with your boy. All right, let's get straight to it, man. Um, the rookie players, you never know what they can do until they play. Now, this is a philosophy um, that Dean Pease is pretty much uh, employed for the most part. He said in the press conference, if you've not had a chance to check out the press conference, um, you know, that's definitely something to look out for. We talk about a guy that is, when you talk about geniuses, a guy that's incredibly intelligent, and when you just listen to Dean Pease, look, he just captivates you, man. The dude is just absolutely brilliant. But talk about rookie players, man, and I say this all the time, all right, and this is one of the issues that I had with the Falcons' previous regime where they just did not want to play young guys and to see what they could do. Um, you play a lot of these guys in – in preseason, right? And I, I know there was a lot of fuss uh, whether or not why, you know, the Falcons aren't playing um, the starters. Well, we know we're going to get from the starters. You know we're going to get from Matt Ryan. You know we're going to get from Calvin Ridley, Hayden Hurst. You know, for the most part, you know what you're going to get out of a Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is the number four. So, obviously, when you talk about him, you know, being slightly different and, you know, having Hayden Hurst being that number one guy, he's not going to be asked to do too much too early. So he can slowly kind of ease his way in the Falcons offense. So as far as he, uh, as far as Kyle Pitts concerned, I'm not worried about him. Again, we got players in place. Lee Smith is another tight end. Um, these guys are going to be in place where they're going to, you know, they're going to take the burden um, you know, they're going to take the brunt of the load as far as offensively early in the season. And then as time goes on, Kyle Pitts is going to get more and more comfortable with not only the speed of the game, he's going to get comfortable with Matt Ryan, um, and he's just going to be able to naturally play. All right, so I'm not worried about that as far as the rookies. But when you talk about the rookies, offensive line, defensive guys like A.O., you got um, you guys like Taquan Graham, um, you know, uh, a lot of young guys, all right, Richie Grant. These guys are going to be expected to play um, a lot uh, in, you know, in third down. They're going to be asked to play some special teams. They're going to be asked to be, you know, part of a rotation. So these guys need experience. So for me personally, I know a lot of people had issues with the Falcons not playing a lot of starters in preseason, but this is what you need these guys for. You need these guys to get acclimated with the speed of the game. And that's one thing Dean Pease was talking about. It's one thing to play in championship games in college, but it's a whole nother beast in the NFL. And that's something that he wants to continue to, um, you know, employ here in Atlanta. All right. The second one, um, this is something that I've always stated in the past due to the, a lot of the rules and just the way, you know, teams play. We're talking about shutdown corners. I've said this time and time again. Dean P's and that pressure went on to state that there's no such thing as shutdown corner. He doesn't know what a shutdown corner. And, 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 and particularly for me personally, Especially with the rules. We saw it last night with the Dallas Cowboy game where it was a push off offensively. It's just no such thing as shutdown corner. The rules do not allow you to be the quote unquote shutdown corner. So even, you know, you had guys in Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders had his hard time. He had, uh, you know, I wouldn't say hard time, but he had games where he didn't, you know, quote unquote shut down uh, Jerry Rice or Michael Irvin. That was absolute battle. So the true definition of a shutdown corner. Don't know exactly what that means, you know. And, and for me, I just don't think this day and age you're gonna have those guys. You're gonna have, you know, times where guys are gonna completely uh, shut down a, um, you know, wide receiver, uh, an opponent. So when you always talk about, when they always come down to it, man, um, you know, uh, the shutdown corner is just a thing of the past. But this is probably the most important thing that I got out of the. Uh, the press conference, and this is something that we've stated several times um, with the Atlanta Falcons, and, and you know Dan Quinn. You look at his defenses, and the days of stationary players are absolutely gone. You have to move players around uh, with motion, and you know play different spots. You got to be able to play different spots. Guys like Dion, he can play inside, outside, four year inside, outside. You got guys like. 
you know, um, Dante Fowler, who can play on either side of the ball. Uh, Grady Jerry, he can play on either side of the ball. Um, either side of the line, uh, you can move him around the defensive end, defensive tackle. Like, you can do so many things with guys like Dante Fowler. Um, John Kaminsky is a guy that can play inside, outside. So the Falcons have a number of guys that can play inside, outside. And in Dean P's system, he likes to move guys around. And one thing that stood out to me in his press conference, is he pretty much stated that, um, you know, offensively, um, guys want to know where the mic is. And oftentimes, you know, in Dean P system, you don't know who's going to be the mic. It could be Foyer one guy. It could be Dion. It could be, you know, Michael Walker. A lot of these guys are just going to be moving around. There's a lot of moving pieces. And that's what causes a lot of issues. So it causes a lot of issues uh, with the offensive line first. Because offensive linemen, they want to know what they're assignment. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know exactly you know where guys are going to be because you don't want guys coming free so when the quarterback all right the quarterback is obviously a guy that you want to keep an eye on but if the quarterback is in the pocket and he's sitting there and he you know he has a free release he has two three seconds to sit in the pocket and get rid of the ball that's something you know that's not going to turn out very well for the defense so when the defensive players you know these guys um these guys are moving around, doing their thing, man. Um, it, it's for me. I think that causes more issues with the defense, um, with offenses more than anything. And this is the power of having a guy like Dean Pease. You have no idea who's the mic, who's coming um, from snap to snap. He's a guy that likes to rotate personnel out. So the Falcons, a lot of these rookies are going to have every opportunity to see the field and do what they do best. So let me know what you guys think about this. Continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports. All right, I'm gone, baby. Peace.